Right, we'll try setting it off away from us and see if the magnetic pull will turn it round and bring it back to us. Well, that worked, except the bubbles have run out. Hi guys, if you watched my video on my Alka-Seltzer powered boat, you'll know that I was using a magnet for ballast weight to get it to float at the right height, and that was a bad move because it was making the boat turn to face north or south um, in relation to the Earth's magnetic field. So I've been playing with it since then, trying to use a magnet to steer it. And that's what we've got at the moment. I've got a magnet underneath, which if I turn it round, the boat turns in relation. A couple of problems. The motion of the boat is quite slow in relation to moving the magnet and it takes a little while to settle down afterwards so I don't really think I'll be able to use it as a steering function. I was rather hoping I could have a big neodymium magnet off screen here we are, so that I could actually affect the rotation of the boat from a distance. But what I did find was to get enough magnetic field to turn the boat, I'd actually end up with actually dragging the boat along with me. It's not moving at the moment because we've got the other magnet underneath. But when I tried doing it on its own, the boat would actually shoot off after the neodymium magnet. So it made no difference whether I'd actually got my Alka-Seltzer bubble motor going or not. It was just following the magnet. So I've given up that idea basically. What we have here is a little toy that you've probably seen before or something similar where you can just move a magnet underneath and move the boat around. And I'm sure that my grandchildren would find that interesting. But it's not quite what I wanted to do. So the episode I was planning on magnetic steering just isn't going to happen, I'm afraid. If I take the magnet out of the way, you'll see what happens again. The boat turns round to normal magnetic north or south. The other thing that comes into play is surface tension and if the boat's near the edge it actually gets drawn to the edge of the bowl. While we're on the subject of magnet steering, I can't resist doing the, the usual old trick. So we've got the boat on the water, and miraculously it starts moving.
no prizes for guessing. It's got a magnet under the table. <laughs>